We're told to let s be the universal set where the set s contains the integers from one through 12, and then we're given sets a, b, and c are subsets of s. We are first asked to list the elements in set a, intersect b, intersect c, where the intersection of two sets contains only the elements that are in both sets a and b. And because we have the intersection of three sets, this set will contain the elements that are in all three sets. So looking at the three sets, notice how the only element in all three sets is the element eight, and therefore the set A intersect B intersect C is the set containing just the element eight. Next, we're asked to list the elements in the set A union B union C, where the union of two sets A and B contains all the elements in either set A or set B or in both sets. In our case, because we have the union of three sets, we are looking for the elements in set A or set B or set C or the elements in two of the sets or three of the sets. So for the union, we can think of combining these three sets, but we don't list any duplication of elements. So notice how set B contains element one, one is in the union. The element two is in set A and set C, two is in the union. The element three is in set A, three is in the union. The element four is in set B and set C, four is in the union. Notice five is not in any of the sets, five is not in the union. And then we have six and seven in set C, six and seven are in the union. Eight is in all three sets, eight is in the union. Nine is in set A, nine is in the union. Set B contains the elements 10 and 11, and therefore 10 and 11 are in the union. And then finally set C contains the element 12, 12 is in the union. So these are the elements that are in set A or set B or set C or in two or three of the sets. And therefore this is a set A union B union C. Let's look at one more example. Here the universal set S contains integers from one through 10. And again, sets A, B, and C are subsets of the set S. First question is find the elements in the set A intersect B intersect C. So again, we're looking for the elements that are in all three sets. Looking closely this time, notice how there are no elements that are in all three sets. And therefore, A intersect B intersect C is the empty set, which means a set with nothing in it, which we can write two ways. We can have curly brackets with nothing between them, or we can use the empty set symbol, which is this symbol here. However, I believe in our homework, we are told to enter D and E for the empty set. And then for the second question, we're asked to list the elements in the set A, union B, union C, which are the elements in set A or set B or set C, or the elements in two or three of the sets. Or again, we can think of combining the three sets together, not listing the duplicate elements. Because the element one is in set A and set B, one is in the union. Because two is in set C, two is in the union. Three is in set A, three is in the union. Four is in set B and set C, four is in the union. Five is not in A, B, or C, five is not in the union. The elements six and seven are in set C, six and seven are in the union. Eight is in set A and set B, eight is in the union. And finally, 10 is in set A, 10 is in the union. These are the elements in set A or set B or set C or in two or three of the sets, and therefore this is A union B union C. I hope you found this helpful.